Good morning. I hope you're having a great day. It's morning time here. I don't know when you're watching this video, but um, it's morning time here, so I say good morning. Um, I hope you have a great day, whatever time it is, wherever you are. And um, today's video is going to be sort of about the X Touch, no, the A10 Mini Pro. Um, we built the A10 Mini Pro in the box. Um, it has a monitor, and um, we built this in a box. It's actually not about this, but it's actually about the the A10 Mini Pro using the. Let's see if I can get a good shot. The SDI, the HDMI to SDI converters. And in the box, we have the SDI to HDMI converters. And at our church, we have the same basic setup, but only it is, it's not in a box. It's just, we just have it set up. And you'll see that in the video. But what we're going to show today is the advantages of having the SDI in place of in place of HDMI because of the distances you can run a cable with SDI versus HDMI and actually nowadays they make uh, HDMI fiber but the cable HDMI fiber cable is a lot more expensive than running an SDI cable and um, it's I don't know about the durability I can't say one way or the other because I've never used them well actually I have used one but I've used it for a shorter run in my home uh, audio video setup. But um, this will give you an example or show you how effective what you can do. We put a camera down on the floor of the church for some things that we do. We um, This is for Stations of the Cross um, production and um, the... Uh, we also used it for a concert. We used it with two cameras for a concert. We have a 210 foot cable and a 190 foot cable. And why they got made that distance because we don't have an actual way to measure them out. So we got them as close as possible. And then I measured them with uh, my meter to find out the exact length of them. And um, But they're basically two 200 foot runs. So it makes us more capable in what we can do with um, our cameras. So um, to the video we go and thank you for watching. Oh, before I go, I just wanted to show you one more thing. That's our studio in the box. And as you see, I was controlling the camera views. Or as you didn't see, I was not controlling the switching of the camera from there. I was actually controlling the switching of the camera from my X-Touch uh, X Mini. A Behringer X Touch Mini, and I also have a uh, monitor over here with the uh, multi view. It's a small monitor with the multi view. Um, in one of our other videos, I showed where I put the port into the um, mobile studio. But without further ado, here's the video you came to watch. Have a great day. Thanks for spending some of your time with us. This is our new system. This is an example of SDI working with the X-Touch Mini. All right. I'm getting ready to go over there. I'm gonna hook that camera up for a remote camera when I get back.
Alright, that was the back. Now, I'm going to adjust my tripod real quick. Now, I have to get this stuff set up so I can get the feet. This is actually the mount for that camera, but he hasn't had the uh, cold shoe yet. So, um, I'm going to replace the one up here. Get this one.
Do you have your camera on yet? Make sure the um, power is turned on on that. On the battery. Push the little button at the top. You got a light on the... On the um, No, do you have a light? It's a little white light on the on the little box. Yeah. It is on. Oh wait a minute! I know it's wrong. Never mind. No, not yet. I need a power cord. My power cord is in. I had to go out to the truck. Huh? I can't hear you. Wait a minute. Yes. No, I don't have any power to the, to the box up here. I'm hooking that in now. This is yours, we see. Is the camera on now? Still don't have a picture. You gotta press the button when you talk, right? I can't hear you. Right, right on your. Um, Uh, look inside the orange container in the little square box and make sure there's a light on there.
the camera is on. That camera is being shot. to the second station, which is around that corner. hooked up. Deacon's microphone is kind of messing up at the moment, but I'm going to get one last shot when they come around that corner so you can see what we're doing. And Deacon's mic is not part of, it's not any problem that we're having, it's just that 
he's moving around a lot more than normal. So he does have a lavalier mic on. So let me go back here so you can see when they come around that corner. And this is all it has to do with that cable. I showed you last week that I was wrapping up. Yeah, that's what it's for. There's the cable spool right there that I was talking about. We have a 200 foot cable. So, and it's strung over the balcony and down to that camera. And he follows along, allowing us to get that video. Alright, just wanted to see, show you a uh, quick example of what we do and how we've advanced. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a like, thumbs up, and if you like what we do on this channel, subscribe. See you next time.